Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Wind advisory continues, still seeing gusts up around 40 miles per hour. Clouds will be on the increase this evening, still mostly sunny at 7 o'clock, but getting back to partly even mostly cloudy conditions later on. And there could be a couple of sprinkles across our northern counties this evening and eventually late evening and into the overnight hours. Better chance of showers down here in the Dayton area. Also, as the rain moves in, cooler air arrives too. So we'll be down to 40 degrees at 8 o'clock. Still cloudy skies. Looks like most of the rain off to the east of us by noon, 45. Then the clouds breaking into the afternoon should allow temperature. Temperatures to recover into the mid 50s for tomorrow afternoon. Still under that wind advisory until 7 o'clock, traveling north south. Watch out for those gusty crosswinds. As I mentioned, gusting up to 40 miles an hour. Sort of a crescendo from this morning when our top wind speed, uh, wind gust was 25 at 9 o'clock, then maxing out to the mid 40s there at 1 o'clock. Even stronger at 3 o'clock, 47. In between there, we had a, a, a gust all the way up to 52 miles per hour outside of our reporting hours. And even at uh, 6 o'clock, still gusting up to around. 40. So a peak gust here in Dayton, 52 miles per hour, 52 Columbus, and you can see those numbers into the mid and upper 40s across a good part of central Indiana and much of Ohio. Looking at a lot of sunshine out there right now, mostly sunny skies, just some fair weather clouds floating around. But up to the northwest of us, we are seeing some showers in the vicinity of central and eastern Indiana, Logansport, Indiana, down to Kokomo, over towards uh, areas just southeast of Fort Wayne and around Van Wert in Ohio. Uh, some of those showers trying to clip our north. Northern counties, but we'll see this area of precipitation tend to sag southward later on this evening as additional showers develop over north central Illinois and spread southeastward. And yes, that's snow on the weather map, even in the upper 20s with that snow falling in northern parts of Minnesota today. 61 degrees, our high, 43 the low temperature this morning, pretty close to the seasonal norms. Right now it's still windy, 60 degrees, west wind at 29 with a wind gust up to 40 miles per hour. Look at that low relative humidity, so good news for the agricultural interest around the Miami Valley. At least some pretty decent dry down today. 61 currently in Springfield. That wind out of the southwest at 20. Earlier today, a peak wind gust of 55 miles per hour. That's the strongest wind gust I've seen, uh, at least in our uh, immediate viewing area here around Miami, Clark, and Green, and also Montgomery counties. Our weather checkers tonight, mostly right around 60 degrees. Lowell Miller and Greenville, 59 degrees tonight. Over in Trotwood, Pat Lee can calling in with her new weather station there at 62 degrees. And as we look at the current wind speed still running around 20 to 30 miles an hour over western Ohio and looking at those wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour, although still in the mid and upper 40s there in the northeast part of the state. Future track forecast by 9 o'clock. Winds backing off most areas to about 10 to 20. Winds will stay fairly light overnight at about 10 to 15 at least compared to today. But then tomorrow afternoon getting a little bit on the windy side again, 15 to 25, but not as strong as the winds we've had today. Future track forecast, some green on the map, especially past midnight. That'll be our best chance of seeing some of those showers, but then the clouds breaking up a bit as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Our forecast tonight, increasing clouds, showers developing, overnight low 40, winds drop off this evening, morning showers tomorrow, then clouds mixed with afternoon sun will be up to 54, still a gusty west wind 15 to 25, 45 at noon, 50 at 2, 53 at 5, back down to 50 at 7 p.m. And your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, morning lows in the 30s on Thursday with highs in the upper 50s. Pretty good chance of frost Friday morning. Afternoon high near 60. And then it looks like we may see another cool start to the weekend along with a chance of some rain. So at least the winds will be dying down. Oh, yeah. Let's hope. wait a couple more hours. All right, Brian, thank you.